When reading articles or going through React tutorials, you're often going to see a lot of examples where developers use the index of an element as the key for list rendering. It keeps the code simple and elegant and of course gets rid of the warning you see in the console. In this video, I want to show you how to use the index as a key when rendering lists and also the problems you might face when used in the wrong scenario. I'm going to go back to VS Code and in the name list component, I am going to add back the names array. Const names is equal to an array of strings, Bruce, Clark and Diana. Let's render this list of names instead of the persons array. Const name list is equal to names.map and the map method takes in an arrow function. Let's call the parameter as name which represents the array item in each iteration. Within the function body, let's return an h2 tag with the name as inner text. And the name list component now returns name list instead of person list. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that we are rendering the list of names. If we open the console, we of course have the error. But we do know how to fix this error. We need to add the key prop. There is one problem though which we did not have before. We don't have an ID that uniquely identifies each item in the array. We could use the name itself as the key. So in the map method, on the h2 element, the key prop and this is going to be equal to name. If I save the file now and take a look at the browser, you can see that the error is gone. But what if there is duplication of names? Let's add Bruce again to the end of the list. Now the name is not unique anymore. And if you remember from the warning, the key prop has to be unique. If you take a look at the browser, you should be able to see a new warning. Encountered two children with the same key, Bruce. Well, it turns out the arrow function that is passed to the map method receives a second parameter, which is the index of the element in the current iteration. Let me show that to you. The arrow function will now accept two parameters. So we need parentheses, name and index. We can now use this index as the key when rendering the list. So key is equal to index. Let me also display the index so as to get a better picture of how it works. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the list displayed along with the index. You can see that the index starts at zero and keeps incrementing for every element in the array. And that way, every item receives a unique key value. So this is how you can use the index value as a key for list rendering. The index is passed as a second parameter to the arrow function within the map method and that index is used as a value to the key prop. Let me tell you though, using the index as a key will cause some serious UI issues in certain scenarios. And to demonstrate such scenarios, I have modified a CodePen example from the React docs. The link will be in the description. At the very top, we have four buttons. Add a new item to the start of the list, add a new item to the end of the list, sort the list by earliest created date, and finally sort by latest created date. Below that, we have a table with the headings index, which specifies the position of the item in the list, an ID, which is self-incrementing, item, which is an input where we can enter a value, and the created at timestamp. On the list, we are using the map operator. The arrow function accepts two parameters, 
to do which represents the item in iteration and the index of the item in the list. The same index is used as a value to the key attribute for rendering the list. Now back in the UI, for the first item, I am going to add a value of 1. Next, I am going to add a new item to the end of the list. You can see that a new row is inserted into the list. The index is now 1, ID is incremented to 2, the timestamp is also present. Let me add a value of 2. Similarly, if I add another item to the end of the list, we see the same behavior. Everything works as expected. Now what should happen if I add a new item to the start of the list? For the new item, I would expect the index to be 0 because it is at the beginning. The ID, however, should be incremented, so it should be 4. The value should be empty and there should be a new timestamp. Pay real close attention. When I click on add new to start, you can see that a new row is inserted. But it doesn't quite work as we expected it to. We expected index to be 0, so that works. We expected id to be incremented to 4, so that works as well. The timestamp is new, so that also works. But we expected the value to be blank or empty. Instead, it has a value of 1. And the last item in the list, which previously had a value of 3, is now empty. This is the problem of using the key as index. Let me show you how React interprets the update. Initially, we have the three items with the index as keys. For key 0, there is a value of 1. For key 1, there is a value of 2. And similarly, for key 2, there is a value of 3. Now when you insert a new item at the beginning, the new item gets an index of 0 which effectively creates a key with a value of 0. And that pushes the key value by 1 for the remaining elements. When updating the UI, React thinks that, hey, I already have the three elements with key equal to 0, 1 and 2. Let me reuse them and then insert that new item with key value of 4. Oh, and as it turns out, the first three items had some values. Let me put them back. This is how even though we inserted a new item at the top, it appears as though it was inserted at the bottom and the values are all messed up. And this is also the problem when trying to sort the list. If I go back to CodePen and refresh, we should have a single item. I will add two more items to the end of the list. So three items with value of 1, 2 and 3. Each of them with different timestamps. If I click on sort by earliest, the timestamp should be in ascending order and you can see that the list is sorted. When I click on sort by latest, the timestamp is in descending order. But item values don't seem to be in the right order. Irrespective of me sorting by earliest or latest, the item values never change. This again is because of using the index as key when rendering the list. Now you might have a question. If using the index as key results in such issues, why do so many articles or videos do that? Well, it turns out you can use the index as a key provided your list satisfies certain conditions. The first condition is that the items in your list do not have a unique ID. If the items do have a unique ID, always go with that. The second condition is that the list is a static list and will not change. For example, you are never adding items to the list or removing items from the list. Finally, the list will never be reordered or filtered. For example, sorting based on a column value or filtering based on user inputs. 
When your list satisfies not just one, but all the three conditions, you can safely use the index as a key. Most of the times you end up having a unique ID or the list will be satisfying the three conditions. If not, you can try one of the NPM packages that generate a unique ID for a list or also try hashing out a unique value from one of the existing properties. But the bottom line is, try avoiding the use of index as a key and let that be your last resort. In fact, React uses the index as the key if at all you don't specify the key prop. And of course, we have just learned how that can be a disaster in certain scenarios. All right, I hope you now have a good understanding of lists and keys in React. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.